I'm Professor Fred Ogola. I'm an economist and governance expert. I'm the author of the book, Solomonic Economics. What is Solomonic Economic Model? Solomonic Economic Model is about wise decisions regarding financing of the economy with principles of, a, uh, of equity, a taxation from surplus, foreign inscription and trade uh, in the foreign uh, context. Um, so after knowing what is uh, a Solomonic Economic Model, we have to ask ourselves, why this time? Why is Solomonic economic, economic Model matter? We've had very many economic models since the, the initiation of economy by Adam Smith. Uh, we've had a classical economic model that morphed out from collecting other economic models to create what's called a neoclassical economic model that people believe is the summary of all economics and put together in one package. And of course, we've had again the issue of communism, we've had the issue of socialism, but even with all this, the world is still experiencing a recession. How comes with all these economic models have been done before, the world still experiences what's called a recession, a, a UK, US, big economies like uh, the West are experiencing trade deficits and uh, slowed growth. So the question is, where should our help come from? So our help comes from, it's called knowledge-based economy. What is knowledge-based economy? Knowledge-based economy is amassing all the knowledge that has been developed in all economic environment, practical experiences, country history, so that we, as young generations, we can stand on the shoulders of the giants of economics, then summarize them together to come up with a way to be able to solve our current uh, global challenge. Why are we saying so? We find that every country has got resources. This can be people, that's human resource. They can be financial resources. They can be natural resources in terms of mineral resources. They can also be locations like tourism and all those things. But then what people are looking for is the output. What is an output? Output are things like GDP growth, uh, in, uh, income levels, employment levels, per capita income, human, human development index. So what is happening is that we have these inputs here, but we have this output we want, but people think that the miracle will happen in between the two, input and output, so that we can get what we are looking for. But that doesn't happen. So that's why we say, in this, what can convert inputs into output is this Solomonic economic model, which converts inputs into output through a process. So the question is, once we know what, then we know uh, why. Now we ask ourselves, so how will we do it? Well, I've told you that every economy has the so-called um, has the so-called uh, resources. For example, we borrow debt. Debt can be an asset in the Solomonic economic model. We have resources, physical resources, human resources. But what we are having is that we experience what we call um, the resource uh, cast theory, whereby some of the richest countries in the world in terms of resources, actually the poor is meaning that the input does not give them the output. For example, we have to state clearly that national prosperity is created. It is not inherited. So by just having enormous amount of resources will not lead to uh, a wealthy nation. For example, let's take example of DRC Congo. DRC Congo is the 11th most populous nation in the world. It's also having mineral resources worth of $24 trillion. DRC Congo is, if you ask me, is Africa's largest producer of copper, world's largest producer of cobalt, but DRC Congo is number 175 out of 180 nations in the world. Also remember, DRC is the 40th uh, country out of the 49 countries we count in Africa in terms of GDP. That simply means that we need something like Solomonic economic model that will be a process to convert these inputs of DRC into outputs in terms of economic development, GDP, per capita income and the rest. But where do we start? I've heard people starting by saying that a ruler will come from heaven, from everywhere to rule this country and make them prosperous. 
I think we need to start by producing Solomonic leadership right from the family level. For example, the Kenyan case from the family community, from the ward level, from the sub-county level, to the county level, that will have us, make us have a, call, a national uh, good leadership. Because leadership does not begin by the president. It begins from people whom he's leading. Because leadership is about followership. So not just the, the led, but also the leader. So we all start with the lead who knows how to choose the leader. You cannot succeed at national level if you fail at the family level, at the grassroots level. That's why we say we use local wisdom to convert the local resources into the local output in terms of economic development. And in Swahili we say, Hekima Mashinani, Rasilimali Mashinani, then Matunda Mashinani. It has to start for Mashinani as we go up. And that's where we believe that we can actually be able to make the greatest impact. We start by producing leaders from the family level, ward level, sub-county level, and we go up. So that's what we mean by Solomonic Economic Model.